Hey guys, yeah, you know that sound. Uh, this is gonna be my first run of this Losium. I just got it together. Um, I still have to do a couple of tweaks and stuff to it, but I'm gonna run it on a 2S LiPo. Um, it's actually a Reedy, I think it's a 30C, uh, 3300 milliamp or 3000 milliamp LiPo battery pack. Um, 2S only. Um, as you guys know, I put an RC gear shop, um, 3900 KV motor in here. And it's geared with a 16 tooth uh, pinion gear. I don't plan on making this thing like super duper fast, but I do plan on possibly changing out the body. But uh, anyway, I figured I'd go ahead and get this filmed real quick of the very first run of this. Uh, this is the Losi SCT Nitro that has been converted to the uh, electric version. Gotta make sure everything's right because uh, I did put this together pretty quick. Cause as you see I'm losing daylight out here and if you guys crack fiend like me you know that uh you do everything you can to get the car running <laughs> before you lose sunlight um I mean first impressions this thing runs smooth um it's running smoother than I thought it would I read a um, review on Big Squid on this I keep losing signal for some reason. That's not good. Um, let's see what's going on with this. While well, I'm getting this off, I read a review on Big Squid with this. And um, in the review, they said that it didn't turn as sharp as like a slash uh, 4x4. But from what I just saw here, this thing turned fine. Um, on off switch came off. See, I don't have this completely in here. Uh, you guys know I just... Uh, Jimmy rigged this thing literally. Um, I just double sided tape. Actually, yes, I did double sided tape the battery down because I wanted to get this bad boy running and I couldn't find my Velcro straps. And I searched and I searched and kept getting darker and darker. And I was like, bump that double sided tape. Just use the old battery. Let me get this top down real quick. Okay. So I, I just kind of forced that down for right now. And then I found some uh, double-sided tape in my trunk. So, I mean not double-sided tape, Velcro straps in my trunk. So I'll be putting that on. I'll be doing some tweaks to it tonight uh, to optimize it for better running. And I'm actually not going to keep this short course body on here. I'm actually going to probably make this into somewhat of a monster truck. Uh, I got some big tires and stuff I'm going to put on and everything for it as well. Get this sucker mounted up. There we go. Alright. Hopefully that won't come off again. Hopefully it's not too dark to where you guys can't see this, but... Um, as I was saying with Big Squid, they said the turning radius of this car wasn't the best. But from what I'm seeing here, this is fine. It turns every bit as sharp as my slash does. Uh, let's see. You know, Slash may turn a, a tad bit tighter, but for racing, that's going to be perfect because it's going to keep it from traction rolling and stuff with it. Yeah, well, that's pretty smooth right there. That's really smooth, actually. Smoother than I thought it was going to be, actually. Um, I may go to a 4000 KV, the HPI 4000, I'm not sure. All right, 4,600. Um, because I'm probably only going to run this mostly on 2S, even when I convert it to a monster truck, which is basically going to be changing the tires out and getting a Proline body that goes on like the Emax or something. So I think on 2S with that, this thing ought to be pretty good. Of course, it's going to be killer on 3S. So. Oh yeah, guys, this runs good. I'm impressed with this. Uh, really impressed with it, actually. Maybe I have to try to get my slash together out of the truck mode it's in and run it against it because I have my slash with a 3900 KV in it. And I do have matching uh, 2S's and 3S LiPo's, so if I can find somebody that can drive pretty good and won't crash my slash, we'll do some side-by-side uh, -side competition comparisons to these two. Although the low C, I already know now, will kick the slash's butt. 
Uh, sorry, Traxxas guys, it's just a better performing car, but it's it's created for that. Yeah, this runs really good, so. Yeah, I like this a lot. Um, I'm going to do a couple just to, like I said, lower it down. Uh, I'm going to put a monster truck body on it. Um, one that will fit like an Emax or something and put some bigger tires and wheels on it. But I'm going to have some fun with this thing. Um, you guys let me know uh, some recommendations you think as well. And if you have one, put some comments below of what you've done to it. So as always, don't forget to like or dislike. Subscribe if you have not. Find me on Facebook. And you guys stay tuned. I'm going to start doing some more giveaways as well. And I got a couple other things coming up as well. Um, coming in the next probably month or two. So stay tuned for that. And again, thanks for watching.